just remember, remember there's always more work to be done. Always. There's always more work to be done. Always. You see, you see how I'm tired all the time? You see this sh Always, there's always work to be done. There's always worrying to worry about. There's always sh dude. It's just ridiculous. All, all the time. Working, work, work, work. Dying, dying, dying every day. Let's get to work. All right, so here's the next step. You gotta do it. You gotta just dive in here and do the damn thing. So, I got the fan on over there, but I'm gonna pull it over here. Uh, so I got a little more breeze action going on in the car, because that's, uh, cause that's, uh, cause that's, uh, it's just so much better if like, yeah, you saw that. Um, is a much better flavor. It's time that we start working. The thing is, though, you can't just jump into things. You know, there's steps that have to be taken first. You know, you should take steps to like hydrate. But specifically, there's companies out there that work very hard and they make a solid quality product the majority of the time and they should definitely they should definitely reach out and sponsor me last person in this car they just a bunch of pie cuts and then just bent the metal down out of the way but in doing so it made it to where the mounting points for the six by nines ended up too far back out of the way and there was just no material. And you can see right here really clear how they tried to hack up, they, they just cut it into pieces. I actually came through and cut these off. As you can see over here, I started to, I didn't finish, I didn't trim them up all the way. But all right, so the first, the first thing we want to do here, I say we, and I mean me, I'm going to come in here and just bend it back all the way. Where they pie cut all this shit, I'm just going to bend it back and, and just kind of crimp it kind of flat, just so there's no more sharp edges or anything like that. Since we're decking this whole thing, it'll be nice and secure. That'll be just completely out of the way. We don't have to worry about it getting in the way of, of speaker wires catching on, and it, it, just anything, just anything. Don't have to worry about it. All right. Well, that's not good. I'll do that. Is here, my little cutouts. Bring everything off of my center line. My speakers are going to go here and there. I'm going to have a big cut through right here for the bass pass. There it is. That's the, that's the template. kind of tuck right up in there to that a little tighter so I'm gonna put a little bevel on that so it'll kind of suck in a little more and but that's a good fit right there all right 
and we're gonna hit these edges with a it's just a 40 grit see right here just a 40 grit flat disc hit this edge right here and just, just put a bevel on it just take it back 45 degrees and we're even gonna just put a little bevel in here just for clearancing that's all that does is just so that pushes nice and and tight up into the window and just kind of because the window has a little a little a little bevel to it it kind of the deck goes flat and then it bevels up and then the window takes takes shape right there so part of the back seat in just to see how it fits it looks pretty good it's nice and tight up there you can come here to the back I mean that fit up is nice it looks really good that's clean and then the how it's cut it like it has like a little snake in it that's where the the interior pieces fit in there all right Mark this on it like that. In the trunk, just lean in here and try to get around about general idea of kind of where it is. Just marking the hole. Ay, ay, ay. I mark these center too as well. They're a little off center, but I want to make sure when we cut into this that we. We're also going to cut out this little, these little pieces. Of, we're going to be cutting out the steel and the wood. So we're going to mark all that. Fun stuff, fun, fun, fun. This upholstery is going to get reupholstered, so don't mind the terrible stitching and it's falling apart. But we're just looking for the fitment here. And look at that fit up. It's fing perfect. Fing perfect. So I can't fit a drill, so I just I have to do it this way. The holes that I marked on this side, you probably can't see. They're just, they're just a little janky. So figure out just so I can remark it. the original how it originally was it was just a simple when I when I ran up to the store I started thinking and then I came back and I looked at this in the car and I just it's too plain it was too plain so as you can see I laid out this design just thinking about it toying around with it last night and sketching out some ideas basically just gonna make a simple piece that lays down and then we're gonna make some some grill pieces some inserts some like three pieces that just insert in here um, just to give it a nice clean look 
and to give it a better profile. Okay, so you're gonna have you're gonna have this and just some just some carpet on it. That's a real shell on it. Okay, Greg, that's fine. It works. Yes, it works. A hundred percent, it works. But I want it to be a little extra. I want it to be pretty. Like, come on. If you're going to spend all this time making all this I might as well make it look pretty. Make it look sexy. Make it, make it have, make it pop. Give it a little something extra. So, what I'm doing is I'm cutting out another piece out of this half inch so to bring the profile up higher when we make our inserts it'll just be a nice grill shell and everything will be nice and flat so that's that's the idea anyway and of course as you can see ideas are constantly changing anyway so that might change we'll see what happens the template the camera died 
so when the battery died. Um, I only did half of it. I did half of the template, obviously. I just, I laid out the whole thing just so I could get an overall look, like an overall view of what it's gonna look like finished, like the shape of it. But then I only made half of the template um, so that I could lay out one side and then just flip it over. That way it's actual, it's an exact mirror on both sides. So anyways, but all I did was use some printer paper, um, hopefully the camera captured some of my process. There's a lot of folding and tweaking and cutting and just, and then just covering it with paper to reinforce, or covering it with tape, excuse me. So it's just cutting out a lot of paper and making your shape as best you can. And then I tape it all together, slowly tape it together and just keep reinforcing it with tape. And now I have this nice template that I can, you know, I can fold it up and put it in a file somewhere. And, you know, I can keep this. So if I needed to use it in the future, I don't, but if I did, I've got it. So there it is. That's kind of what it's going to look like. Oh. Cut off that excess there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off these inserts right here because it'd just be easier to handle with this extra material. I can clamp it up and cut everything out just nicely. Hey guys, I appreciate y'all watching. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, comment, tell me how terrible it was, tell me how good it was. Either way, I'm happy. Uh, obviously, there's a lot more work to be done here. It needs to be cleaned up. It needs to be sanded. It needs to be fine-tuned quite a bit. Um, I cut everything oversized just to make sure I had plenty of room to bring it into the dimensions that I wanted. Uh, that said, I don't have the sub enclosure. Uh, it's on order, should be here within the week, but I don't know where the center is going to be, and I want this thing to be perfect. So I'm done cutting and hacking on this until that shows up, and I will definitely jump back on and, and make a video showing you guys how I accomplish that.